Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to be running the latest Windows applications under Windows XP on a real PC. So as you can see, we have this Dell XPS 400 right here. And this is the PC we will be using today in this video. So without further ado, let me boot up Windows XP. As you can see, we are running Windows XP X64 Edition. So I'm going to show you that this... Now, as you can see, this is Microsoft Windows XP Professional X64 Edition. Service Pack 2. This computer has a Pentium D CPU, as well as 4 gigs of RAM, um, 3.5 gigs of RAM is what this is showing, but this is 4 gigs of RAM. So how we are going to be doing this is... I have one core API, and I have it installed which I will link down in the description, so if you want to run this yourself, you can. So I have one core API already installed. <clears throat> so I'm going to be showing you ungoogled Chromium. This usually will only run on Windows 10 or higher, but if I double click it and give it a minute to come up, there, now you can see ungoogled Chromium in all its glory. So I'm going to show you then if I go over here, I can go to, down to About Chromium, and it's version 134. And this does work, so I can go to my website if I want to. And this is not connected to the internet for some reason. So this is the cable's unplugged. Hang on. There, now it is connected to the internet. And there, as you can see, I can visit my own website. You can browse it. No problems. Now I'm going to show YouTube on this, which I don't think is going to work very well, but it should at least load. Wow, and it's showing that the Java update is ready. That is crazy. Now, I'm just to show that this works, we'll go to my YouTube channel. And now, if I scroll down here to my video. As you can see, it is playing in 360p. I don't have any speakers for this at the moment. But as you can see, it is handling HD YouTube. Not very well, but it is doing it. If I try to full screen, it doesn't like that too much. But you can do, seven, I believe 720p does work. Yep, you can see 720p. I can skip around. As you can see, it's playing. Yep. So yes, you can do 720p YouTube on Windows XP on this setup in 2024, in 2025, which is crazy. And I'll show that Firefox also works. So we have the latest version of Libway Roll Free here. This version of Firefox does come up. So I can go over here, down to help, and about. And as you can see, it's Libre Wolf version 136, and it is running. 
So I'm going to show you where to get one. I'm going to show you one core API, the GitHub for that. So it's right here. It's from the Shorthorn project. And I believe that this is the version that I have. Right here, you go and download this, you extract it, and you run it on your machine. And now I'm going to show you Minecraft on here. So I did get multi-MC to, or multi-MC right here to download and install. So I can just run it right here. And you can run 1.16.5. So I'll be showing you that. And as you can see, it is now open and running. So I'm right over here to single player. And I can open up my world. Now I will warn you that multiplayer does not work. Single player does work. I have been unsuccessful at getting the latest versions to run, but I have tried many numerous times with many different ways. But 1.16.5 does run, as you can see. As you can see, it is open and it is running, so I can run a quick F3 at 6 FPS, 10 FPS. Oh, wait, it's going up. But as you can see, it is running. And I do have a Radeon X550 in here. This computer did not come with a GPU, so I did have to scrap. I did have to grab one of the ones that I scrapped from another computer, but that's perfectly fine. As you can see, this is running. And it's, if I break a block, the block does drop. So yes, you can play 1.16.5. You can also go full screen, just like that. And yeah, it does work. As you can see, it is struggling a bit more now that it is in full screen. But yeah, it does work. So I can add an instance, for instance. And we can do 1.16.5. Actually, we're going to... I'm going to go get... I'll have to find for 1.16.5 just to show you how this all works. So I can open up Chrome. And I can go search for Optifine 1.16.5. And I can go over here to Optifine Downloads. And I can do show all versions, scroll down, 1.16.5 right there, click mirror, and right there, actually, and we'll go up into the downloads folder and save it there. So now I can open up here, we can name it 1.16.5. Right here. I'm going to import from zip. So I can go to downloads. I believe that's what I want to do. It's not what I want to do, is it? It's a dot jar. Okay. Then go over here. Click on vanilla 1.16.5, which is right there make another 1.16.5 instance and then edit instance and 
and install mods. So I should be able to go to version. I don't use multi MC, so that's why I don't know. Here's the Optifine executable. And there, now I have a have a mod. It's right there. And then click launch. It's not wanting to use Optifine. I'm not really sure why. But it just doesn't want to. And now I'm going to show LibreOffice, so I'm actually going to go and download this one. I'm going to use Firefox this time. So I'm going to go get LibreOffice. Well, as you can see, I can hit save. And it's downloading at a very fast 5-6 megabits per second. And now it is finished downloading. So I can go over here to properties, and then I have to go over here to unlock. And I also have to go to, that's it. So I should be able to double click and just install it. As you can see, it errors out saying that you need the latest version of Windows. In this, you go over here all programs and you can get to system tools and you can run this Windows compatibility tool and we'll set it to Windows 10 apply and this time it's not complaining seeing it next difficult well, well we'll do custom let's see what we can get Oh, this is fine. You can do Microsoft Word documents. Create a shortcut on the desktop. And let me run the other compatibility tool. This one will set it to Windows 10. Apply. And we can try one more time. Nope, it does not want to install. No, well, LibreOffice does not work. But as you can see, I got 1.16.5 Minecraft to run, as well as a few web browsers, which is pretty sweet in my opinion. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.